Here's something bleeding edge, GPT-3 implemented in Roblox, emulating the functionality of Google's SayCan. This is a proof of concept by James Weaver at IBM. And it's implemented already inside Roblox. You can go and play with this right now. If you enter in the search bar, the term GPT-3, you'll see his map or his game, GPT-3 SayCan NPC. You will have to bring your own key here. I'm bringing my own OpenAI API key to use GPT-3. Keep in mind that's free for the first 900,000 tokens. So you get that $18 credit to play around with. You'll notice a non-player character down the end there who's labeled Seikan. He's gonna do whatever I tell him to do using a lot of logic, using a lot of creativity as he is essentially a robotic AI. Let's try some examples from the paper and Google have released a couple of papers about Seikan. Table 28 from this paper gives us some exemplars that we can play around with. I'm gonna ask Seikan here, I'm hungry, can you bring me, let's do the first example there from the paper, can you bring me some chips? I type that into the chat box and I step back a little bit and wait for GPT-3 to process that feed it to the AI, feed it to the robot, and he has brought me some kettle chips to the user. Let's try something a little bit different. How would you put some grapefruit drink on the table? Interesting question to pose to a robot. First, he's gonna go and find grapefruit soda. Then he's gonna bring that to the table and throw it right in there. Great. How would you move the grapefruit drink from the table to the counter? Go on, say can, you can do it. Excellent. This is really fun to watch, but even more fun to test it out. I'm hoping we can break it somehow. Put all the fruit in the trash. This is definitely an Allen command. We don't need that fruit. Seikan robot is picking up an apple, throwing that in the trash, and also bringing an orange. Here we go. We've broken him a little bit. He wants the lime soda in the trash because it has a fruit name in it. He's gone all the way over to the counter to grab the grapefruit soda as well. And he's thrown that in the trash for us. Thanks, Seikan. <laughs> Excellent. What can we give the dog to drink? Where would we put it? This is a funky one because I'm not telling him what to give it and I'm not telling him where to put it. But Seikan the robot via GPT-3 is making the decision that water should go in the bowl and that the dog can probably drink from the bowl. That's a pretty good assumption there. How would you put the rice chips in the bowl and then move the tea to the table? It's two things at once. Fetching the rice chips, adding those to the bowl, that dog's gonna be happy. Looks like he's off to grab the tea and that is now on the table. Bring me a drink. Go on, Seikan robot. Putting it on the user platform. Water actually is a great choice. Great choice. Super healthy. Okay, let's put all the soda on the counter. Seikan has to find what would actually be soda. So this is using the large language model GPT-3 by OpenAI, now two and a half years old as of November, 2022. And it's finding that 7up and Coke would belong in the soda category. He's also gone to fetch something from the trash there. Oh, it's the lime soda. <laughs> also belongs on the counter. And there must be some grapefruit soda down there as well that he's gone to fetch for us. Pepsi, also soda, put it on the counter. 
Even Red Bull is a soda. Awesome. So good. All right, bring me some chips, please. Taking the kettle chips from the user to the user. <laughs> Thanks, I can. This counter is so messy. Can you clean it properly? Seiken, the robot, is bringing a sponge based on its logic via GPT-3. It's also bringing some water. Fantastic assumptions there. The counter's not looking much cleaner, but uh, at least we've got the sponge in the water. Seiken, you deserve an energy bar. Fantastic. Thanks to James Weaver, quantum developer advocate at IBM. If you want to have a look at more Seikan stuff from Google, have a look at the original video. 